Welcome to the Mischief. I'm Valen, and no wait, this this isn't right. I'm Valen, and this is C Block Rustic Waters. Today we're going to be covering a little bit on how to you can possibly get your own scuba gear, and then die and lose sixty percent of the durability on it, <laughs> and then perhaps even you know maybe repair it as well. But hey. This is some cool stuff that we're looking forward to. I can now breathe much longer underwater and swim around faster. It's good. There we go. One compressed block of leaves, which sadly leaves me with 900 regular water left in there. So I now have two pipettes for this stuff. I think this is why in the future you can start putting other things in here because the pipettes won't go into there. <laughs> but I think I can still put them here. There we go. So I have a little bit of both regular water and purified at this point, which mm, I don't know how good or bad that is. I'm probably going to have to make more golden buckets just so I can put some in there. I, I was liking that I could just leave a certain fluid in there, but now it's kind of annoying that I have to switch those out. But still, it, it's it's a thing and it's done. Um, so what was I going to do with this thing now at this point? I remember, oh, that's right. I was going to make more bully brews, which I don't have enough turbo tubes, but I do have, that was only one. I need to make multiples, and I only have enough for, like, three. So, oh, and I made an Invar knife because it's got a, a much better durability on there. But let's take regular water, put that in there, and make two more. And I can leave the rest here for the future. There we go. At least that's something. Oof. Oof. Uh, I might as well leave my purified water bucket there as well for now. I, I am definitely going to need to make more. Ouch, that just kind of hurts. Uh, have some of my apple juice. I just need to stand near one of these little sound blocks. And it's not so bad, actually. It's pretty darn quiet. And I can just sip away to my heart's content and not really need to worry about it. So let's continue on with some of this questing. All right, I think I've caught up with just about... Oh, there we go. I forgot. I got enough rat pelts. I get some basic drawers, which is something that I am desperately in need of at this point. Uh, there's tons to go into at this point. I was saying that we're going to get into the diving in, which I think we should because I need uh, something to put on my outfit. You repair your diving gear by combining it with its base material in the crafting grid. Make sure to remove your temperature liner first. The repair will unfortunately not keep any liners or enchants. Oh, good to know. But we need to make rubber sheets, which is sand pulverized charcoal. Oh, I make pulverized charcoal. Oh. Or I could put it in a grinder or a pulverizer, sag mill. Interesting. All right. Well, I could probably just use hammers for now. It said charcoal, right? So that's not going to work. I made a whole bunch of charcoal by smelting it up uh, from the, uh, the bonsai. I said fuel. There we go. I can just get a stack of this and try smashing as much of it as I can. I'm going to regret that because I probably should have grabbed a hammer. It's not in that. It's in this workshop. Uh, charcoal? All right, let's see how much durability this takes. Oof, I'm going to need a new hammer, but I, do, I now have a stack of pulverized charcoal. I need some sand, which I might already have some just in here. 53, that's not bad. Um, let's see what else do I need for the rubber sheets. Let's click on this. Put that on my list just in case. Rosin. Okay, I only have a half a stack of rosin that I, I had made previously. And that is going to be made in a chemist workshop and use up a bunch of these. So let's go into the chemist workshop, see if I can just put those in and make a make a, a bunch of these. 64. That's pretty darn good. I'm going to put the rest of the sand in here for now, as well as the pulverized charcoal. Hey, sw suit of swimwear is complete. Let's put this back in the fuel for now. Maybe I can make myself some clothing. Let's see. Use. This. What? Oh, that's to repair it. Right. In a tailor workshop makes ashen fabric. In an engineer's workshop makes tanks. Future tech makes project modules. Interesting. What about over here? There we go. We've got. A, how do I make the wetsuit stuff? Wetsuit leggings. This is very confusing. So it looks like you don't make them, you they just exist. Tailor's Workshop. There it is. A bunch of rubber sheets and an ink sack. Mmm. I have a feeling I'm going to need an ink sack for all of them. So that means uh, squid hunting. All right. 
I will be jumping into the water and seeing about finding some squid ooze that I can get some ink sacks from. Huh. <sighs> okay. All right. I got seven ink sacks. I think that that's that's actually pretty good. Uh, let's see. Better diving. All right. So wetsuit leggings. How do I make them things? On a tailor workshop. So let's just go over here. And we'll do this. We'll put this in the side here. Put that down. That that doesn't seem to be working. What is it? Oh, I need a a razor as well as a needle. Okay. Let me go get uh, materials for this. A razor. Okay, just wood string and some ingots of some sort. Once again, I'm probably going to be using... Invar, because that seems to be pretty high durability for most things, uh, but a piece of wood and some string, which should be in one of the chests out here, as before. There we go. And then I can make myself one of these things. Actually, I don't even need to shift click. I can just put the items here. There we go. Invar razor get. Put this there. Wetsuit leggings. All right, so wetsuit, I'm going to guess the chest piece is going to be like this with this here. No, that. Okay, it, it's not going to be like this. So let's look up wetsuit. <laughs> it's not even there. Okay, better diving. Oh, so that's right, it's a tank. Oh, 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 okay, so each one has different items. Well, the, the mask, though, requires a couple of those, and tempered glass. Oh, I haven't made any tempered glass. I've got some diggables. Let's take these, and I think I might have flint and steel, which, by the way, I did end up killing some, uh, some more of those squids out there, so I got another one of those uh, turbo tubes. But let's see if I have... There we go, flint and steel, which... I should be able to... Let's do this over here. No, nope, I don't want it to be there. Let's do it... No, that's a bad spot. There. And then I can toss these in. Hopefully that they... That just burned them up. That didn't work. Okay, tempered steel. <laughs> or tempered glass. Is made... Single compressed sand. Oh, I just threw away a whole stack of sand. That's very disappointing. Okay. Single compressed sand. I can only hope. Yes. It works like this. Okay. And then I can burn this over here. And throw them into there. Wait for it. There we go. I get the items back and nothing is on fire. Good. Okay, because most of the base is currently fire. Not, not fireproof. It's kind of scary. And we should be able to make this. I think I've got this. No, that's the wrong table. This one here. Let's just do that. Cool. There's a second part, and then we need the, the fins. Oh! That's not bad at all. I've got some of the, uh, the orange dye from another one as well. Nitro ink sack. That shouldn't be, uh, shouldn't be too bad. I think it was just a couple of these. One of these and one of these? Or is it down one space? Yep, there we go. Fins. Got it. All right, so that's three pieces. One, two, three. And I just need the tank. Allows you to dive about 120 seconds longer. Longer than what? My current minute? So it's like three minutes instead of one? And I just noticed I've got... I've got a little breather coming out there. That's really cool. Okay, um... So let's look at the standard O2 tank. Recipe for it is not on those. Engineer workshop. So I'm going to need some aluminium plates, a fluid extractor, and a pressurized air tank. All right. Aluminium plates, pressurized air tank, fluid extractor. All right. Fluid extractor, copper gear, and fluid pipe. I don't think I have either of those. <laughs> Le fin. <laughs> I don't know that that means the end uh so diving mask I need a copper gear which should just be some bronze copper diving leggings yep i'm i'm getting it i'm getting it, it it's gonna take one more isn't it one in the middle there no there 
What is it for a copper gear? Tell me. Blacksmith table. Oh, okay. I'm going to bring some invar with me because I have a feeling that some of my tools are going to break. Uh, and I think that hammer is going to take more than what I have there. Let's do this. I'm actually feeling my, my character is actually warm right now. I'm taking this uh, outfit off. All right, let's see if I can make this uh, simple copper gear over here. Yep, not a problem. And then a fluid pipe is going to take adhesive and glass. Oh my gosh, this is going to take a lot more than I thought for this tank. It makes sense though. I mean, you don't just like smack together a bunch of cobblestone and suddenly you've got a tank, right? Um, at least <laughs> not in real life. Glass and adhesive. Adhesive is bone meal and caminite. Caminite is sand and clay. You could do this. Uh, diggables. Clay. Run out of space. How do I get all these turds in my inventory? Looking at you, rat. <laughs> Take these. Cook them up. I will need... I, I now have clay. I don't need that much, though, because these break into four at a time. And some sand. Uh, take a stack of that. Can this break down? Use. Is there an easy way for me to break it without having to put it in a crusher or something? Yes, there is. In the trader's workshop with a knife. Okay. So if I take this here... I've still got some water in there, but who cares? Uh, Actually, here, I'll do this. Put the water back in there for now. Compressed block of leaves. I'm going to put that in there with the block of leaves. Give myself a little bit more space. I've got all these extra fish in my inventory as well from when I was out hunting different fishes. Uh, I'll probably put them in here for now. Give myself that much more space. <laughs> so clay and sand making caminite blend in the chemist workshop. Which I know that you need this stuff for a bunch of um, the embers stuff anyway. Uh, this requires purified water. How much does it require now that I'm looking at it? Caminite requires well? Yeah, not very much though. So I could probably just grab my bucket of purified water. Dump that in here. Open this. And toss in a whole bunch of ingredients to make two stacks. Nice, and there's not much left, which means I'm going to make a little bit more so that I can just smelt it up. And here this has purified water in it, so I might as well dump dump it in. Wow, I didn't know that that thing... How much can this thing hold? I wonder now. Uh, there's 1,400 in there. Adhesive. I need bone meal, which I have been saving in my food bin for now. There's 19. We can do better than that. We're going to take this, turn that into more bone meal. In fact, can I get two, three, four, five more? Oops, I just closed it. And that should get me a stack and one. Yep, there we go. Perfect. And that should get me a stack of this adhesive, I hope. Uh, assuming I have enough. Okay, so I just need some more of the purified water. Not a problem. We'll just do this. Then I can make more adhesive. That's what I wanted. Throop. Oh, and I used up both of my <laughs> both of the items for that. So I need a beaker and a burner. All right, I'm going to make some new tools. I'll be right back. There we go. That should do the rest of it. I do have pipette, which, let's see how much it actually took out. Uh, it can hold up to one bucket, so it's as good as a bucket that can hold partial amounts. Okay, so that's the thing. Put it in here for now. And then I could feasibly take out a bucket, pinch the rest, there we go, and then I could put these here. Yeah, okay. Uh. Anyway, I now have the adhesive and the copper gear. Got lots of adhesive. I've got a bunch of caminite as well, which might be useful for some stuff. Uh, but I need the adhesive and some kind of glass in the engineer's workshop. I'm glad I made a bunch of glass. Uh, let's go in engineer's workshop to make the fluid pipe. And I don't... Oh, that is enough. One, two, three, four. Let's make a bunch of that. How much do we need? We just need a little bit, I, I imagine. Just one. But this is fluid pipe from embers. This can be very useful. So I'm going to make um, 30 for now. 
And I'm going to leave this recipe in here, I think. So I don't think I'll need it, but if I do, I can come back. So I need lead plates, a fluid extractor. Actually, here, I can take that off. Um, I need a fluid extractor, lead plates, and the tempered glass. So I just need the lead plates as well. I forgot about that. Um, I didn't look up the recipe for it, but I know that it should require some. Let's see, ingots. Did I grab the lead out of here already? No, I didn't. What is it for lead plates on this thing? Now, hold on a second. Fluid extractor. Oh, wait. That's not what I was thinking it was. Oh, it was the tank that needed it. All right. I can just give lead ingots to a rat. That will work. Let's do 13 for now, and I'll just give these to him. Hoi! And he will rolling pin them flat, is at least what I've been told. We can check to see how things go in there. Yep, perfect. All right, you keep doing that. In the meantime, I'm going to make one of these units. What is that made in? That's made in an engineer's workshop. I'm going to get this yet, and then I'm probably going to end up dying and losing it. <laughs> but I will make one of those. All right, fluid extractor which is done. So then pressurized air tank, that and the tempered glass. I don't need any side bits. I will need pliers and a hammer in a blacksmith table though. This has a hammer. There's the pliers. I just need to get those uh, plates. Thank you. In the table and it should be good there. Uh, I need this and tempered glass. Where is it? There. Which is, that's everything's in there, but it's in the wrong spot. There we go. Pressurized air tank. Which is great for immersive engineering tools, <laughs> but not what I'm looking for. Uh, aluminum plates. I'm going to need some of those. I can just quickly make some if I want, or I can give them to the rat. Because I'm going to need those for this. So let me grab some aluminum. Aluminium. Beg your pardon. Here. Tin. Nickel. Aluminium. Give this to him. And while he's making these, I'm actually going to, give me that, thank you, uh, clear out my inventory a bit, because it's getting a bit ridiculous. So as it turns out, I need a second fluid extractor, not just one. Uh, so I will need to, oh, that's a blacksmith workshop, of course. I'm in the engineers. So if I do this, I can make another copper gear, come over here, assemble the two together, make another fluid extractor, take this whoops that didn't work out the way i wanted to and then i just need a bit of is it glass no the pressurized air tank that was it ha standard o2 tank get oh nice thank you for your help <laughs> thank you indeed so now i look like a little flip flip flop monster um <laughs> with my feet and my fins and it's really cool i need an armor stand though uh, so that I can put these things on there or, but I don't know, cork's not in here. So I don't know that, um, just sneak clicking would actually do anything to take those items off. It'd be worth trying armor stand. It's just sticks in a stone slab, right? So let me grab some stone. We can find out real simple. Like if this will work, usually it's just a sneak click. Um, will take your armor off. Can I make this? I need one more stick. Oop, there we go. And recipe. There we are. And if I put this, let's just set it in the middle for now. And if I sneak click, oh, it works. Okay, of course the, the helmet is on the side, which is a little bit weird, but then I can sneak click and put it back on. This way I don't overheat while I'm at home. <laughs> Only problem with this is that if something uh, hits it, then it, it could disappear or fall down at the very least. But that is that should work. I can keep that there. Oh, no, wait. I, I, better idea. Better idea. Let me grab this stand again. I put it by the down area here. <laughs> this totally makes more sense. Can I actually put this? I don't want to put it there. Let's put it here. There we go. That'll work for now. <gasps> Ooh, I lied. <laughs> I found an even better spot. Yeah, it totally makes sense. Let's put it right there. And it faces the right way now as well. 
Nice. Okay. The fact that it's moving. Little bit creepy. Little bit creepy. But at least it works. And with that, let's see just how much breath I have. Okay, 120 seconds more. No. No. It does not give me 120 seconds more. It gives me, what, 120 seconds? Oh, no, wait. 153 now. Did I need to just, like, wait for it to, like, fill up or something? Was I... Is my air not doing so well, or is it just glitching out because it thinks that I'm cheating with, uh, like, plonking down something underwater? I've got 180, so it is an addition. That's nice. It just needed a second to refill. Okay. And it keeps me warm, so I won't freeze to death. Oh, that's nice. But you can also get liners to add even more in there, or at least I won't freeze to death as quickly. I could probably use some goo packs or something just to keep myself going. That's This should allow me to explore a little further, even though I don't have a Seamoth submarine just yet. It is somewhere along the way. Liner snips. Make sure to remove your temperature lighter first. Okay. All right. We get lots of goodies. Spawner Seeker. Your diving mask is a breathing enabler that requires an air tank to operate. Plan on going exploring. Be careful. Many structures have spawners in them. Take this Spawner Seeker to help you along the way. Neat. And then this one here. Diving fins increase your swim speed while underwater. They also provide a bit of armor. Clownfish drop coral that can be used as orange dye. It can also be found on the ocean floor. Squids drop ink sacs as normal. Good to know. Diving leggings. Wetsuit leggings give you a portion of armor and also increase your block breaking speed underwater. With an illumination wand. Nice. No need for torches, right? Air tanks, and they don't get washed away fit into the chest slot. It will only function in partnership with a diving mask. The basic level of air tank will give you an additional two minutes of breathing time. To refill your air tank, simply step back into an oxygen environment, such as the surface or your base, for a few seconds. Yep, that's, I learned that now. The bigger than the tank, the longer it takes to refill. Okay, and I get an anvil. Ew, that's kind of cool. And I got some liner snips combined with lined armor on a crafting grid to remove one layer of lining. Leaves reusable lining on grid. Wait a minute. So does it have the lining in it already? That's what I want to know. If I take this and this, whoops, nothing happens. Okay. So it doesn't have any lining on it already. That is something that I will have to add in, which I was looking at before, like the standard O2 tank. Uh, there we go. Chest plate warm liner. What is a standard? Standard allows you to dive about 120 seconds longer, right? Just plate warm liner. What's the difference between those two? Cool liner, cool liner. So there's two versions of each. And then the Aussie chest plate liner. Combine with chest plate on a crafting grid to add a self-adjusting temperature lining. Single install, you only need one Aussie liner per armor set. Crazy. <laughs> All right. Well, what about the warm liner? That's just a bunch of warming liner material. Heating goo plus ma some kind of wool. What's heating goo? Oh, magma blocks and slime balls. Fair enough. And you can get slime balls from jellyfish, creep vine seed clusters. I don't think I've seen any of those around. I should have, though. Hold on a second. Or I can smelt different corals into slime ball. Nice. So I could definitely keep myself toasty uh, with this sucker on. That would be something to think about. Hmm. Hmm.